we shall be starting in one minute. We're okay. just waiting for another minute before we start the show. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm back for this signature show, The Mark with Chacha. And today we have very special guest, a family of neurologists. And uh, you must be wondering, what is this show about? Or you told me that this is the name of The Mark with Chacha, which is a show that was the name of The Mark with Chacha. दिमाग वालों से चर्चा। So obviously we are talking about neurologists and today we are talking about a triumph of try of neurology in a family. So here I present the three gentlemen. The senior most, the father is Dr. T and Dubey, fondly remembered Tribhuvan Nath Dubey from for his friends from the school age, and who is from the Bhopal, and with him. Is Tushan, the elder one is Ayush, who is also a neurologist, and the younger one is Shubham Dubey, who is also a neurologist. And so this is a try of neurology. I cannot recall anybody in India with three people in a family having neurologists. We have heard about cardiology, we have heard about phys physicians, we heard about other branches like ophthalmology, but this is the first instance of. Uh, something which is unique and that's the reason I thought that what is special they have, that you have a family of neurologists practicing in a very, very noble town of um, Madhya Pradesh, that is Bhopal. So here, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the three neurologists, all are our Indian Academy of Neurology member and all of them are living and practicing in Bhopal. So, sir, I come first to the Dr. Dubey. Dr. Dubey is a very renowned uh, neurologist in Bhopal. He has been uh, DM Neurology uh, since 1984 uh, or, or from 1997. He passed out uh, MD, DM, and then he has been member of various uh, academic uh, uh, bodies. He's also had a lot of publication, but the most important thing is he has achieved the highest position in academic and that's the vice chancellor. So he was a vice chancellor of uh, the Jabalpur University from January, 2020. And then he left last year to come back from Jabalpur to Bhopal. I think he could not leave Bhopal. He was also the Dean of Gandhi Medical College. So here is a gentleman who very quietly has achieved the senior most post in his state, became the Dean and also then became the Vice Chancellor and then realized that he wanted to go back to the, his country and his city. So he left even the Vice Chancellorship and we'll talk about this uh, on further uh, comment from the debate. So the second gentleman is Ayush Dubey, he is the elder son of uh, Dr. T. N. Dubey and uh, Ayush has passed uh, DM Neurology in uh, 1984 
uh, oh no, sorry, 2016. And then he did the Diplomat uh, National Board in 2018. He at the moment is uh, assistant professor uh, in neurology at Gandhi Medical College and the Hamidia Hospital, Bhopal. And he's also a member of various organizations and uh, very active at, uh, at uh, uh, neurology. And then the come youngest one, the Shubham, who is a recent passed out. He passed out uh, recently in 20, uh, uh, 2018. And uh, he is uh, very active in music. So we have uh, a family who is uh, into the music. We have a family who is into the neurology with various activity, academic. Uh, with that background, uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the three Dubais, the TN, the Ayush, and the Subham for today's Dimag Pe Charcha or other Dimag Walos Charcha. So I come back to Dr. Dubey. <coughs> Dr. Dubey, you probably were one of those uh, senior most uh, neurologists very early started the practice. How, how was it that, how you started uh, to think about uh, neurology? How did you went into the neurology? Your family background, is that your father was a doctor? How it happened? So could you tell us something about it? Uh, namaskar uh, to everybody. Uh, I was uh, born in a very small village in Madhya Pradesh, and that is uh, Mungauli. And uh, I started my schooling from that place. And uh, very soon I shifted to Bhopal with my brothers who were here in Bhopal for, they were doing some service. And my father also brought us here. So uh, just one or, one or two years I was in village. Then I came to Bhopal. Then Bhopal, I did my schooling. I did my MBBS from Gandhi Medical College. I did my MD medicine from here. I was interested into cardiology and neurology both. And so I appeared in the exam also. And, but later on I thought, and my interest was much more inclination towards more in neurology because uh, since beginning I was seeing when I was in college, this most of the cases of neurology, they went undiagnosed because the facilities for CT scan and MRI were not there and everything was clinical. And then uh, uh, I saw, saw that uh, the scope also in Bhopal was a little more for New York because there was a lot of many uh, cardiologists were there. So then I tried for entrance. I got succeeded in uh, PJ Chandigarh, which is uh, one of the best institute of India, premier institute. And I was lucky to be with uh, Dr. Prabhakar, Dr. Sahani, Dr. Lal, Dr. Tusu, Dr. Ghosh. And I had a very, very, very deep, training and a good training at PJH in Nigar. So at that time, um, I was um, looking at those legends who were diagnosing the patients and I was seeing those people, how they, they are making a diagnosis and coming to a proper diagnosis and treatment. And then I came to Bhopal and I started my practice at Bhopal. I was a lecturer in uh, medicine in medical college because that time the neurology department was not there at that time. So I became assistant professor of uh, medicine and I continued uh, in medicine department only till my HOD ship. I was at HOD in the department of medicine for quite some time. And I think I was lucky that I was in the medicine department because I still, I think that all these specialties, they're all maybe super specialty. I sometimes call them subspecialty because medicine is mother branch. And because I was in medicine, so I was, uh, always present in seminars and meetings and clinical meetings. So I was in touch with the you know, medicine. I was taking rounds of medical wards. So I was lucky that I was working in medicine department as well. And I was practicing in neurology also. So this is how I, um, I became HOD and I, I did my work in of neurology. And uh, that time uh, there, not, there were not so many neurologists at Bhopal. And uh, gradually the, the people started coming and they are all my students. Many of them are my students also who have joined at Bhopal with me. And, but now I have, uh, since I became Dean of Medical College Bhopal, 
Then I became vice chancellor of Medical Science University for some time, but that was in Jabalpur. So after some time, after one and a half years, because I was not in touch of my patients with my patients, so I came back and I started my practice. And at present, I'm retired from my government service. I'm doing private practice and my both the sons, I'm lucky to have both sons who are doing very well in neurology. They are achieving heights. They are daily presenting paper. They are going to the conferences. They are having publications. So I'm glad that I've got two sons who are doing well. So Dr. Dubey, you know, we want to know that how you could influence your both the son to take neurology. Frankly speaking, I never said like this at any time that you become neurologist. But gradually they picked up um, neurology because uh, day and night it was, you know, my patients and everything was neurology only. My whole practice was neurology. So they used to see me seeing patients. And then when they're doing MD, they got interest into neurology because they presented the cases and they're doing well in neurology. So they thought that this would be a good thing. Because I also think this neurology is a good subject. So this is I'll come back to you, Dr. T.N. Dubey, at a later point, but I want to just first uh, uh, talk to your both the sons. Uh, it, it, they would be feeling very privileged to have on a slim platform today mm -hmm. and uh, a person like me being interviewing uh, both of them together, but it's largely this privilege is because a person like you who have achieved such great heights from working in a very, very small uh, city as compared to the other yes. cities we yes. know of in this country. Yes. Uh, so, you know, Ayush and Shubham, how you were influenced to do the neurology? You'll have to answer one by one. What made you to take neurology? Why not neurosurgery? How you uh, thought that, you know, we would want to become, obviously the daughter and son always think that they would like to become uh, like their father. So this is my question to both of you. So one, first you can answer and then Shubham can add. Uh, first of all, at the outset, thank you, sir, for giving us the opportunity to be on this prestigious platform and uh, being so much junior to everybody. It's really, we are really fortunate to share this platform with a uh, stalwart like you. Uh, talking about my interest in neurology, sir, uh, it was not a voluntary decision which I took. And I think... Uh, since our early childhood, we have been seeing uh, our father who has uh, obviously been our role model. And uh, many of the neurology patients, we got to uh, discuss about those patients often. And uh, it often happens that on a lunch or dinner table, you often discuss these uh, interesting cases. So it was not a plan when we entered medical school. I think uh, entering in medical was always a priority for me because I was always interested towards uh, medicine side and um, not towards the other branches like mathematics and all. So uh, when I entered medical school, medical college, I think uh, with these discussions, which we used to have, and uh, uh, so, so things became a bit easier, I would say for us as compared to the others. Uh, and uh, the interest which we started developing from that tender age at uh, medical college, I think that, uh, reciprocated in uh, various case presentations, which we started doing uh, right from a, a second year MBBS or third year MBBS maybe. So uh, we started taking up neurology uh, uh, case presentations earlier as compared to a few of the other systems. So, uh, and then uh, eventually when we started presenting many cases and discussing with dad at home, uh, we I started uh, developing that interest in neurology and uh, then after that, uh, at the end of, I think, final year MBBS, maybe uh, I was pretty sure that uh, this is what uh, I have to pursue in my future. So it's one of, not because of any uh, because of any scope in my city or something, but it was uh, purely because of the interest which I had developed during those two, three years of MBBS. And when I uh, entered MD medicine, uh, then I, uh, I would say I presented a lot of neurology cases, and we had a, a two or three uh, good neurologists, also senior successful neurologists, also at our college. So uh, with them, we I also developed uh, a different multi-pronged approach. I would say, 
and uh, that really helped so uh, apart from father at home we had two or three uh, uh, great neurologists who were always there to mentor me so at the end of uh, uh, my md i always knew that uh, i have to take neurology only and that was purely because of my interest and then i was lucky that i uh, successfully i have uh, and so, uh, cleared my dm obviously that uh, you have been uh... tremendously influenced by your father the yes, yes. tnd way as uh, shubham what what was your influence Is thank you sir for this privilege uh, to share the screen with you sir uh, so uh, like uh, my brother said in the basics of uh, this branch we had learned from our father from our earlier medical career and uh, i gained this uh, more of interest during my md period in the last year of my md and i was doing uh, sr ship after my md that compulsory sr ship of one year uh, at gandhi medical college bhopal uh, so my father was the hod at that time so i used to take uh, we used to take rounds uh, and i used to see my father taking rounds and all these questions and answers used to uh, just receive all the information from him so my uh, interest towards neurology developed late in md period and in the sr ship period when i used to see him uh seeing the patients uh, more of clinical uh, approach i used to see from him then slowly and steadily i gained this uh, interest in this branch and obviously we had that something uh, this thing uh, genes and something is there uh, you know something is there that our more interest comes towards neuro only earlier i was interested in more towards the cardiology and other branches but uh, as things progressed and as i gained more knowledge and uh, more from my father so, so you have okay. got a very very interesting point uh, shubham that uh, gene of neurology so yes. one will need to really uh, study this that what are this gene of uh, a particular uh, uh, branch of medicine uh, i mean we know that cs the, the doctors runs in family the cs runs in family the lawyer runs in family so this is something which is a, a research topic that uh, is it the gene and the environment the gene of course is there and the environment which changes a person as we all are talking about the gene with appropriate environment give rise to the neurological disorder we always talk about uh, and we talk about parkinson's ms all this so probably it's the making of the neurology also could be a gene with the influence of environment and you have perfectly given an environment uh, to your children i wanted to know from you dr dm dubey that how difficult or how easy was for you to let your children learn now obviously you were a teacher you must have been many other students how could you you know make a balance and see that you know they learn and they learn peacefully and excitedly that they want to take this part honestly uh, they were really themselves they were quite bright and they have chosen it not because of my pressure or something like that but i am really glad that they have taken up this subject as you know we are fond of this particular subject neurology as in neurology you must also be having the same you know attraction toward the it is a subject really uh, a subject which is going to develop gradually too much there are lots of researches and things are going to be done in particular there's no saturation in brain and no because everything is unknown you talk of anything in the brain most of the things you know they are into the research into this and most of the other subjects they they have already achieved a lot but not brain we cannot think of brain transplant we cannot think of anything like that in the brain which is being done in other subject so naturally our priority was uh, this only but when they have taken the subject i am really glad that they have taken and uh, they have uh, really taken up very well i must That's say true. because they are doing well because one is in medic he is doing well both of them are doing much absolutely they will do well because they have chosen the right place to work under the yeah. guidance of a very very able and uh, competent uh, neurologist but the question for uh, both you subham and uh, uh, ayush is uh, that when you were obviously as a student same medical college you were mbbs or md go on the round as a father was head of department 
how you were feeling uh, with you know other colleagues what you felt that you are privileged you were given a, a special status or what you felt that i'm going to get it if i have done something wrong not seen the patient i'm going to get the firing today so how was it firing versus love affection versus strict discipline can you just tell the audience how was your uh, mbbs md career uh sir uh, my mbbs md dm uh, all these three have not been from bhopal so i did not have that direct uh, privilege as i would say uh, that uh, or that extra pressure to be under direct uh, guidance of my father and uh, uh, all these three courses i've done from outside but yes that was the uh, that was the impetus which i had and uh, uh, all the all the colleges where i stayed i never really uh, expressed to my teachers or to my colleagues that uh, i belong to or i am the son of a neurologist so that was never the case and uh, and i think i consciously hit that so that uh, that doesn't become an extra pressure on my head and uh, i think i uh, i just uh, developed that interest and i just uh, had that uh, neurology flow going on so i don't think that pressure uh, was there only because uh, maybe uh, we were not there in that gmc we have not studied from gmc maybe that's the reason so subham would you add something to that uh, yes sir. i was uh, for a brief period uh, during my assistantship uh, under my father's unit sir uh, i used to learn a lot from him uh, vis-a-vis the question of uh, some pressure or something i, I didn't feel the pressure as in uh, some added uh, this thing but i uh, used to discuss the cases uh, he used to uh, show and to the students and uh, used to discuss after the rounds uh, like a, uh, it's like a student and a teacher relationship uh, in the in the hospital uh, department itself and once we reach our home then it's like a father and a son relationship but in the hospital while i was in the hospital while patient i used to just come as a student to him absolutely so you know you got uh, one never been with your father and uh, learned from the medical college and uh, you had a opportunity to interact so that that's very interesting so i would want to know from you any particular incident where you felt that it might be a a very very important incident during your mbbs and bio yeah uh, yes sir asking me no shubham mohan shubham mohan uh i i don't know i don't remember any particular uh, uh, some instance but it, it was a combination of uh, combination of many things i can say uh, not a particular click or something but uh, it was it was gradual uh, increasing it was gradually myself that i had i have to do uh, in a branch which i can do best in and uh, Uh, so th- th- there was no particular click or something okay so dr t n lube yeah how difficult or how easy was for you to develop the neurology in uh, bhopal to do the practice in bhopal uh, what are the challenges you really faced because you started practicing in the 90s 94 5 something around that uh, so you know how how was it that you know somebody uh, practicing in the uh, late 90s in bhopal how you took it and uh, then took it from bhopal uh, is uh, a small place as compared to bombay i must tell you and uh, of course but when i was in the department and uh, since i was uh, head of department of the medical department so i tried my best to do justice with to the to my students and also to the patients as much as possible that I, i could do uh, for example when we were discussing the cases of neurology i never thought that these people should not know much i was giving everything to them and fortunately my most of the students they have whenever wherever they have gone they are doing very well for example i'll tell you at one instance there were only two seats in sms jaipur and my both of the student they got selected only two student so they actually called me dr dubey kya padhate ho yaar aap <laughs> कुछ भी पूछो कुछ भी पूछो तो ये लोग जवाब देते हैं यार तुमने एमडी में उसको इतना पढ़ा दिया क्या तुमने कहा हाँ माई ट्रेनिंग ऐसी है 
सो दे ऑल्सो द स्टूडेंट्स ऑल्सो कॉल मी सर हम दोनों दोनों सेलेक्ट हो गए तो मतलब इट वॉज सच ए गुड मोमेंट एंड आई वॉज रियली वेरी मच यू नो डिलाइटेड प्लीज एंड आई फेल्ट दैट आई एम डूइंग समथिंग टू माई स्टूडेंट्स आई वॉज टीचिंग टू माई बेस्ट बिकॉज आई वॉज हैविंग दैट मंडे केस एवरी मंडे वी यूज टू हैव न्यूरोलॉजी केस सिंस बिगनिंग ओनली वेन आई वॉज स्टूडेंट then that time now on also we have got a long case presentation on monday and that is the most important day just like pgi when i call when i just recall my memories of pgi the saturday meeting it's a fantastic meeting you know when all the neurosurgeons and neurologists they come together and the rmos uh, residents are presenting the case so i similarly i did my the same thing in bhopal i tried to do it okay. and uh, unfortunately there are so many students but uh, we could not um, you know make a proper department um, uh, till late and, uh, and because i was always in medicine department i could not change over because i was selected as assistant professor in medicine only so i retired as a professor in hod for medicine only but then uh, at the same time i did uh, my best to bring knowledge to my dr dubey the bhopal is though is a small city but it is a very important uh, city because it is the mm. capital of uh, one of the very important state of india yes madhya pradesh and uh, it's always you know when you are in a capital and with all the uh, politician all the power is being there doesn't it influence while you are in a medical college as there as a dean or an hod how do you take that pressure and how could you you know give that uh, experience to your children Well, this is always there you know we are treating the most important person when you are in medical college and when i joined uh, the medical college there were no nursing homes nursing home concept was not there at all in bhopal when i joined uh, in medicine there only one or two no nursing home nursing home there so everybody used to come to medical college only it made me any anybody from poor to the the highest so we used to interact with those people and uh, a lot of pressure of course but uh, they are all very good i had very good very good relations would, would that give an opportunity to develop a branch with knowing the politician directly you could uh, demand something you could develop something so has that helped you to achieve some positive aspects in your yes yes they have started now yes now the super specialty is coming and the and gopal is also developing super specialty so we are getting department of uh, every super specialty over there so then now it, it is being in in the process they are, they are doing it so i come to the younger one the shubham and then i use uh, see the one we talk about the gene and we talk about the neurology gene what is that uh, singing thing you know i believe that three of you all are Uh, the singer i'll come to dr t n dubey in the last because i can see that he has awards and awards and awards on the singing so how does both of you are influenced from singing right from the beginning uh, ayush and then shubha yeah uh, i think sir we uh, again talking about genes just like the neurology gene we had that music gene in our uh in our setup body because uh, we my father as well as our mother both of them are singers and uh, both of them uh, have been we have been seeing them perform on stage from our childhood and various programs and uh, uh various big shots of music coming to bhopal and then meeting them so that was there from our childhood and then we also uh, started singing a bit uh not not very good but we we just try singing often and uh, i think we we, we have received uh, uh, some formal training also in classical music uh, shuham has received more actually uh, and uh, that i think we 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 perform and we are part of that we use that as a part in our indian academy of neurology also with uh, whatever contribution we can give yeah exactly sir and no. what uh, my brother said that we had this thing uh, like my mother and my father both sing and they have been a very good singer in all india radio as well so since our childhood we have been uh, listening to them their shows and the programs on tv and we learned classical music from the uh, same person our guruji 
uh, then slowly and steadily uh, along with our studies we had that thing of music so you used to sing and perform um, here and there so uh, then i went to chennai i was, I was in chennai janchipuram i was doing bm i learned tamil also so i used to sing in tamil also so that thing never left me i didn't leave that thing behind so uh, still uh, i'm trying to gain more knowledge about music and learning new uh, things like i also used to do theater when i was young before my mbas days also after whenever i used to get time i used to do theater as an actor then music was there in our genes as you said so still we are uh, we are learning like neuro still we are a student and we are doing our best so did you get a offer from bollywood <laughs> uh, <laughs> i worked in some movies as well oh fantastic what was yeah. the tell us about that something let people know that you know what are they uh unfortunately the movie was not released it was uh, satra ko shaadi hai hmm. john bram uh, movies and some one or two movies as a junior artist basically uh, so well but but i'm a, more uh, interested in, into theaters more than movies still i learn and we have a group of uh, people elderly senior people as well as junior people who are into theaters and bhopal is a very good place for theaters and music as well this fantastic to know that you know as a neurologist you have an extra talent to do the movie and uh, you know acting and theater the singing i think this make something very special because these are the special talent and you not only you know that music therapy is something which is great for the brain and who else can do a better music therapy than a neurologist if he himself knows the knows the music so i think you open up a another full branch of uh, neurology and music and i'm sure you will look into the future so dr t n dube why not you have a musical academy with you three of you neurologists three of them singer theater actor and even your wife we haven't heard about her and we'll come back to that after this uh, uh, this answer so you you're very correct uh, this is a very good opportunity as you said uh, there's a topic called musical therapy and i have uh, been uh, with few people who know a lot about this therapy musical therapy then uh, there are there are some people in bhopal also who are doing research work on these uh, ragas which raga will uh, act on what uh, stands for suppose somebody is depressed there are some ragas which are which will elate him some there are some uh, ragas which uh, suppose patient is very anxious they will slightly sedate them or for example some patient has got some sleep disorder the patient will go into deep sleep if he is being uh, given that uh, ragas uh, into his ears like that so this is a big topic and as you said we have not turned then a lot of work but we will try to do uh, and we all of three will definitely do some work into it and we'll uh, let you know sir and everybody because i think this is very good field vast field musical therapy and other things so uh, tell us something about your uh, better half uh, your wife who is also i i'm i'm heard that she is a great singer yeah. at all india radio and you know all these awards which you have received for the sangeet ratna award mohammad rafi alankaran and that rashtri singer if what is that sangeet ko samarpit uh, chikitsa parivar so what is this all sangeet ko samarpit chikitsa parivar is it all about your family You yeah to know more about it please yes yes so many a times we have been interviewed on this particular subject by various people and uh, one of them is you are, as you are reading that sangeet ko samarpit parvat we have learned uh, classical music from a very learned person sri siddham swami korwar ji he was my guru and unfortunately he left us in last uh, last year only during corona period he was a very very able classical singer from south he was a carnatic man he was from karnataka he was and uh, my wife before that she was not singing at all okay but after she came with me we started singing together i used to take her to music classes we used to go regularly to our guruji she learned a lot even more than me she yes she, she has learned a lot of uh, classical music when i was busy in my patients she used to go to guruji and she used to learn classical music 
and she is a good singer i tell you there are few people who don't know that they are singers but they are actually singers she is one of them <laughs> she sings very well and on the stage she performs very well like for example we have uh, given two three performances like divana hua badal kashmir ki kali and it's fantastic song and she sings so well and like that so there were so many songs but she is very good i must tell you and everybody that uh, she is ms in ent she is ent specialist and she is also retired from government service and uh, she has been a mentor of my children also she is teaching them the manners all these uh, you know morals and uh, music and uh, theaters and what not i mean she i was listening to dr shrinivasan she said the genes come from mother not from the father not from father <laughs> so i was today morning i was just listening to dr shrinivasan he said my wife must have given genes to my son <laughs> so that means um, you know she must have given something that's why they are much more able more than me she has given now she is absolutely absolutely really better mother's, mm. mother's contribution is always uh, great because they are the one who keeps the child close to them and father always go away, but not to forget the father also yeah children greatly i want to know that uh, you know uh, people uh, not everybody is talented for singing i don't know singing uh, not everybody is talented in acting i also don't know acting but how does singing or music plays a critical role in person life does it help you in your uh addition does it help you in treating your patient calmness cool we talked about music therapy but how you think that music in your life is important as a neurology practice is important mm. it is very very important when i listen to music i'm really a, a different man at that time and uh, this thing can be known only by a singer or by a musician only what how much relief or how much uh, you know impact will it give a person who uh, doesn't know much he cannot know about those things for example when i listen to mohammad rafi sahab and if i listen to those old songs which he has sung you know it's just such a thrilling experience you know? i cannot express that nobody can understand it but that uh, you know every line how does he sing i'm really fan of mr mohammad rafi <laughs> he was a great so that is a different feeling yeah different different type of feeling so uh, let's come back to the young guys ayush and uh, shubham so how how uh, you, were you were born talented singer or you practice over a period of time you saw your parents both of them singing uh, and then automatically you tried and became and do you play the band also are you are you contemplating that uh, now singing is there is already artist so do you think that you should go for some uh, band uh, playing some uh, harmonium or uh, some piano or something else i don't know much about it uh, i think uh, sir uh, definitely it is there in the gene sometimes the knowledge of the rhythm or tal that is there uh, and uh, if someone doesn't have that it's difficult to grasp uh, even with training so one can always learn the various ragas and suds but that knowledge of rhythm is a must so i think uh, few people are fortunate enough to have that uh, thing uh, from their childhood and with which they can build up that uh, knowledge and uh, i think music acts uh, as a meditation also i mean you when you enter or when you uh, listen to soothing music or even when you are a part by your vocals or anything that takes you a very different level and it uh, is like a sort of meditation and there are various ragas and uh, 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 various ragas have been uh, known to act as a therapy also in few diseases we don't have unfortunately many studies uh, uh, basically on that but yeah there are uh, various uh, uh, reports or people have said that these can help and uh, i i i traveled to uh, oslo in 2019 for my european board of neurology and i had a fruitful discussion with dr patrick cross there and who was very much interested in knowing about this music therapy and the ragas which we have in indian classical music so we have a very fruitful discussion and he also said that um, uh, we can have good amount of studies which can incorporate these ragas and we can see the effect uh, basically on the cortical or subcortical level 
and uh, talking about that instrumental part yes i have learned uh, harmonium as an instrument and uh, i do play harmonium and synthesizer which is also a like harmonium and uh, not the other instruments because uh, i was out of bhopal for around 15 years i'm <laughs> having hostel life in medical college so i could not really get that uh, time maybe but uh, yeah harmonium i have learned before going to medical college wonderful as uh, shubham you want to add something yeah uh, same as uh, he said that we learned in our childhood itself we used to sing we didn't know about this uh, about the things of sor and tal but uh, we used to hear to our recordings my mother used to record our songs and when we grew up and then we used to uh, hear our songs then i used to get that i was also singing in sur uh, when we we were young but we we could realize it by at the later stage so i, I think it was in uh, it was in blood i think more uh, then afterwards only we used to uh, practice learn from our guruji Uh, it it was combination of things. I I, can, I cannot point out towards uh, genetics only or towards learning only. It was a combination. I think it's a combination of uh, thing. And while coming to those instruments, I, I also uh, have learned uh, playing some instruments like tanpura, sitar, harmonium, banjo, tabla. So uh, these are instruments that uh, I have learned. And coming to your question, sir, regarding band or something, we are not planned. to uh, to incorporate any band or something in, in neurogam itself we are having combination of uh, uh, the uh, the doctors who some some people uh, play um, uh, guitars some are good at uh, playing piano um, some some sing better so it's a uh, we have a good uh, group of people who who are uh, who are uh, um, you know getting a big atmosphere in the ion cons and different atmospheres and we are performing in absolutely i think um... what i uh, my proposal to you as a neurologist and as a singer family is that bhopal is a right place it's a place where ghazals it's a place where there are lyrics being formed you will hear a lot of uh, big uh, people from bhopal bhopal puri or whatever they uh, big names why not bhopal you people develop a neurology institute musical institute of neurology i think it's a high time that uh, india classical music the indian music plays a big role into the neurological disorder and uh, develop some research protocols as dr t n dubey said he has people who knows about raga who, who are been treating the raga why cannot we convert it into a a great resource and research for the world to know that what indian classic music is if tanzen could produce the rag uh, mega or uh, the he could uh, light the the, the lamps uh, i mean i'm sure there is a power in the music and music is power uh, who else <coughs> going to do this research and take it forward uh, if a family of three a three neurologists and singer and the musician cannot take it so that's my proposition i think i think you are the people who has to take it forward uh, i would like to hear from dr t n dubey no i am really thankful to you for that particular suggestion and uh, i had tried a little bit earlier but in between there was a gap but as you said now since uh, these both uh, shubham and then uh, ayush they are also interested into and they are neurologists only so uh, we'll work upon it and i am really thankful to you for that particular suggestion and we will try our best to do it in particular in bhopal because bhopal as you said is the right place for that is a cultural place you know lots of uh, people are there the theaters are there musical uh, stages are there so many people are coming to bhopal all legends we have seen in bhopal they are performing at uh, tagore or ravindra bhavan and we have uh, met them and we can always try it thank you thankful to you for this particular suggestion yes sir so uh, uh dr uh, dube i i was uh, reading your cv and i realized that uh, you have been very much interested in doing community service so you know your practice your academics your children being brought into the neurology and then you do the community service in various aspect of doing the camps creating an awareness about the people how does that help you and how you started that and is that your children now both neurologists 
also have learned how to do the community service and charity. Almost all the days we used to have those days, uh, um, what do I should say, mark them in our college. We used to have epilepsy day on 17th of November. It was a big day. We used to call all VIPs and all patients were there and thousands of patients used to come to it. There was big camps, you know, at one time. And so there was an awareness of uh, epilepsy. Then, of course, World Alzheimer's Day, we marked. Then World Parkinson's Day, World Stroke Day, and uh, various other days we used to mark as I was actually. I think we have lost. Uh... Digital team, can you check? Dr. Dubey's voice is being lost. Ayush, are you there, Subham? Hello. Seems that there's something is gone wrong with the connections at Bhopal. Uh, digital team, can you check? Yeah. Yes, Dr. Dubey has joined back. Dr. Dubey, you can unmute yourself. Yes. Yeah. yeah, we lost you for a few moments. Yeah. yeah. Yes, please. You were saying something that you were doing all the everyday program. Yeah. All those days, like Alzheimer's Day, World Alzheimer's Day, National Epilepsy Day, then World Parkinson's Day, World Stroke Day, and for the region, all other those uh, days, like... Uh, Doctor's Day, we used to have programs. So that way, you used to call the people. Uh, we used to have bigger camps in our college. And uh, awareness was given. We used to distribute the pamphlets, the booklets, and various, um, you know, ifs and birds and questions and answers. And uh, the, they used to be big programs on that. And our department was famous for this particular thing because we are marking those days. Yes. So has, has your both children also been involved with the charity part? They are doing it uh, gradually because they have, till then, uh, now we are, they were studying only. And mm -hmm. so they are into, you know, the various, they have done various uh, courses, they are publishing papers and so many things where they are busy into their studies. Now, they, of course, they are there, they can, they can do things at Bhopal or somewhere else in Madhya Pradesh or like bigger cities like mm. Bombay or something. Yes. We'll def definitely try. Okay. So uh, what do you think, uh, Ayush, and when Subham joined, uh, would you also take this uh, aspect of your charitable work uh, which can easily be linked with your music therapy also? Uh, yes, sir. I I really think that is a very uh, noble um, way of uh, serving back to mankind. And uh, being in government uh, medical college, I think we do get that opportunity uh, staying there itself to treat the uh, poorest of the poor people who don't have any other place to go except mm -hmm. in coming to the state government medical college. So that is one place where we get uh, mostly our patients belong to the below poverty line range. And uh, there itself, we, uh, that period or that time which we spent there, that, that itself is something which uh, we, we really look forward to. And then we do have the various days, like the father said, we do have days. Recently, we had Parkinson's Day, uh, Multiple Sclerosis Day. So we do have those days where we conduct camps uh, at medical college itself. And uh, eventually, we plan to expand that so that the other 
days also can be incorporated and various other patient related uh, activities can be done with that so that, that's really something which we should do and uh, we have to do uh, that's our duty also to give back to the society um, so we really we i really look forward to that shubham what do you say i can try miss the question about the charitable work and outreach services which your father has been doing regularly uh, uh, yes sir we have been influenced by our father uh, he has been conducted all the uh, epilepsy awareness day stroke uh, awareness day and all uh, we are also participating in, in via music like in the world ms day we did a song and uh, i have been uh, also involved in uh, apart from patients care and uh, free services i have been actively involved in animal uh, rehab and, and this thing rescue so i am mm-hmm. more interested towards a uh, uh, bigger picture at large humans as well as all all the living beings so uh, whether i work for their rehabilitation and if any trauma is there any uh, we have to rescue the animal any stray animal is there for their adoption and for the proper care and treatment uh, apart from the services we are doing or as as a, as a neurologist like all the services my father is doing i'm also interested towards the whole whole picture at large all the living beings i feel that all all need care and treatment i mean that's a fascinating so do you have some pet in your house uh, yes sir we have uh, we, we have two cats oh and uh, they all are stray so i just adopt all the stray animals who come to our door basically we don't uh, shop uh, we don't buy animals but i endorse uh, adopting the stray animals who don't have any shelter who don't have food who are not the most uh, uh, costly dogs of the uh, of the big breed uh, animals but the local strays they are the most uh, vulnerable i think uh, in, in our society who don't get food who don't get shop buying no means of getting food or any shelter so i think they are the ones who need our attention more amazing amazing what well, that's a very fascinating and uh, i'm sure dr padma would be very very pleased with you because when i went to her house a couple of months before and there were so many cats and dog and she would catch those stray uh, cat or dog and have her in her place and uh, groom them i mean that's very fascinating and i don't know if uh, uh this also is a genetic with your brother and father also love the animal and pet i don't know i would really like to know that uh, from them but what inspired me is that you can have an academy where you could uh, treat the neurology patient and treat the research on neurology but you could also start with music therapy music research and then you can also you can also do the pet therapy i don't know how much you have been uh, know about pet therapy but i think pet therapy is a very very useful therapy for people with alzheimer's disease and doc particularly are trained to pick up the epilepsy so what are your thought on that do you think that you can develop something like that with the uh, understanding learning about the pets shubham okay me i think sir we need to uh, i need to uh, uh, understand more and learn more about pet therapy as per se and regarding genetics of the uh, this thing animal care uh, pro- probably i am the only person who is more attached towards animals uh, they are also attached but not uh, so much like me perhaps and uh, pet therapy i think uh, i would like to study more on that and i have seen some articles like uh, uh, for the uh, therapy well you uh, press your hand on the fur of the uh, of the cat or any any animal it increases your so many things then uh, i need to study more on that and uh, uh, but it, it is also a good option it is also a good idea sir as you have just told about music therapy and pet <laughs> therapy to i can, yeah. i can only give good ideas i am good at that <laughs> giving good idea yeah. but it's very serious because very few people can have the talent and uh, if you have that sort of a talent why don't you convert it into the action and if you can convert it into the action why don't you make it something useful for the others so i think the you could combine and your institute could be a unique institute where you can have all these uh, add on therapies which will 
make it one of the research center. So uh, we have very few minutes left and I come to uh, the senior doctor Dube. It was really privileged to get three neurologists, a generation of two come together. So Dr. Dube, what would be your advice to the other neurologists? If they have children, they want to do the neurology. They may not want to do the neurology. How, what would you advise them? And what would you say that, you know, uh, practicing in a smaller town is not a big challenge, it's an opportunity. So we'd like to know from you the last words because before uh, we close at eight o'clock, we have got three minutes, so I will, would want okay. to know from you. First of all, I am very much thankful to you that you have given so many suggestions, like for example, physical therapy and pet therapy and you opening an academy on various things. And a place like Bhopal would be a really very good place, especially for that. And uh, as far as uh, and as guidance to other neurologists, see, nowadays it depends on the children only. What they want to do, they will do. I'm lucky that my children have adopted to medical, but nowadays when I see and I ask the people, they say, my children will not listen to me. They will do whatever they want. <laughs> they want to go out. They don't want to study or they want to don't want to go to medical. Most of them, they want to go abroad and do some other things. But uh, I'll definitely I'll suggest and I'll advise various my various colleagues of mine that uh, they should adopt this particular field, which is a very very fascinating field. And in future, the neurology is the one field where you know, the future is of neurology. I must tell there are lots of research are going research are going on, and we know a very little bit about brain and other things about the neurology. So I think. Everybody should think about it. They should try and do much, much better. And they should try to bring their children also to this particular field if they want, if the children want. Otherwise, they're free to do whatever they want. But I think it's a good field. So Ayush and Shubham, last word from you, because see, uh, you got an opportunity at a very young age, thanks to your father, to come on a platform like the Mark Pichacha, which is a very privileged platform and you really have to do something great to come out but you have been privileged being son of uh, the great Dr. T.N. Dubey that you got an opportunity so what would you like to say to the uh, I think sir uh, I would uh, like to thank wholeheartedly to the whole team to you sir for uh, giving us the opportunity to come on this prestigious stage at such a young age and uh, not many people get this opportunity. So, and uh, that gives us that uh, uh, responsibility also to maintain our work, to enhance our work, to go into research and to incorporate those great ideas which you have given us. And we would definitely like to take that forward. And so that that becomes our duty, sir. And uh, I would like, just like to tell everybody just, just uh, one should just pursue their interest and whether it's in neurology, it's in any other subject, one should always pursue the interest, no matter how much time it takes, but uh, one should always land up in the area of interest which he or she has. Thank you very much, sir, for this opportunity. Shubham. Thank you very much, sir. It's a real privilege for uh, both of us, for all three of us to share the screen with you, sir. As you just say, we are very junior to everyone and uh, I'm the most junior person uh, to ever to ever receive this honor, sir. It's a very really big honor and like my, uh, my brother said that, we should only pursue our interest and uh, try to improve ourselves more and more and just think of, of our uh, uh, of the community and the society at large how can we benefit them at the end thank you so much absolutely. sir absolutely i think what you said very correctly is that one should pursue and i give you my example my daughter the everybody thought that my daughter will become a neurologist <laughs> at the age of 3 years she would come with me in the rounds i see you and she would come to my clinic uh, Till very young age. When she passed out 10th or 11th and then she was doing the uh, pre-exam, so she one day came and asked me, very scarily, you know, she thought that, you know, father will never agree beyond medicine. So she said, Ki, very scarily, she must have thought for a few days and then she said that, Papa, if you don't mind, if I don't do the medicine, I want to do the engineering. I said, why you want to do engineering? Because she said, I love two subjects physics and mathematics. And if I do the bi biology, both will go away. So I very clearly told her that, look, whatever you love, you do it because life doesn't matter that you become doctor or not. 
So today she is engineer and then she did MBA and then she did financial engineering from Columbia now in New York. So I feel that it's our duty to give guide our children, but give them what they want to do. And I think that is a very important message from both of you that you were not compelled, as Dr. T. N. Dubey said, to become a neurologist. You became because you wanted to. You loved that. You wanted to because of your father was uh, influenced you and you were into that. So this is the message, my dear friends, colleagues, the doctors, their children, that do what you love. And that will make you a, a perfect gentleman. You will love your life. You will be able to produce the positive aspect and give the world what best you have. With that note, I thank the trio of Dubey's from Bhopal uh, to be on the Mark Picharcha. I'll come last time next month with another episode with another brainy people to have the last show of my January of presidency. Thank you very much. Good night, Thank ladies you. and gentlemen. We'll Thank see you again. Look forward to see you. Good night. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you, sir.